make a simple icon in Keynote. At the end of this short video, you should watch the suggested how to customize your Keynote toolbar video and go pro faster. As always, ask any questions you have in the comment section below. Okay, let's choose something abstract. Let's go with empathy. All right, we got a bunch to choose from here. Let's take a look. We got some themes with faces overlapping. Another one here, faces looking at each other. Another one here, faces looking at each other. You'll notice in just about all of them, there are two people, which makes sense. It has to do with empathy, right? So what I'm gonna do is go for the composite thing here. I like how simple these characters are. So I'm gonna tap on that on my Mac here. Two finger tap and copy that image. Command tab back to my keynote. Command V to paste it in there. Get that a bit smaller. I like the way that it shows the colors. I might do something with that. Do I like these guys? I don't hate them. Let's copy the image. Command tab back to our keynote, paste it in there. Make it a bit smaller. I like the shoulders. I'm thinking I might use their body types. Command tab. What else? I think I actually quite like this idea of the umbrella too. So. I'm going to open it up. Opening it up first and then copying it gives you a bigger image, better resolution. I don't know. It just takes a second, so why not? So apparently I like this guy's idea, but I don't want to be too perfectly the same, right? So we're going to go for a bit of a composite, double tap that to make it a little smaller, easier to deal with as I'm moving things around here. Since these guys have basically the same body type and since I'm going to use an umbrella, I think I might get rid of this. Um, start off with the body, I suppose. Get it into place here. I'm gonna do a completely different head though, so it's really not much of an inspiration, but it's something, a place to start. Tap, draw with pen, sorry, again, shape, draw with pen, round these things off. I'm gonna make this simpler, I think by just going with an old South Park like circle paw. Only tap where you're gonna want to have a bend, okay? Now I'm actually going off of the screen here so that doesn't matter, now it's closed. So now I can start double tapping to make things rounded and start fixing them up a little bit. Drag that in a little bit, make it straighter more of a circle if I do this. How big do I want the hand? Maybe I can worry about that later. I'm gonna hit enter. Now the shape is done. Definitely don't use the same color used by this other character. So, gonna go to color fill. Well, since this is just a tutorial, why don't we try just going with the reds and yellows, reds and blues of this couple over here. Now, I think I want that to be, I can click and drag that out of the way. More fully rounded like a shoulder without making him look like a great big muscle man. Straighten that up a little bit as well. I think we're going to need to have a darker line. So over here, style uh, on the line here. Four. We can always make that smaller later. Okay, so now we've got the first guy. How about the umbrella? We don't really need this. So why don't we just get rid of it entirely and uh, start working on making it more original now. Make this a little smaller here. Keep it circular. Now, we all know what an umbrella looks like. Draw with pen. I can make it bigger and smaller. I'm gonna do that right here, right now. And it's all about the tapping. As you can see now, I'm gonna try to make some of this stuff rounder. We don't need that. I'm going to double tap it and delete it and see if that figures out. Yeah, that sorts this out a bit. I'm going to just drag this up to make that kind of rounder. The more uniform we can keep it, I think the better that looks. So let's see how that looks. Black. Right over here in style, I can just choose black. There it is. Okay, pro tip. This is bigger than his hand. We can't have that. So I'm going to go to arrange over here. Constrained proportions. Now, no matter what size I make it, it'll stay exactly the same shape. That's too small. Make it bigger, perhaps, a little bit. Now, what happens if I put this in the back? Now, once again, you're gonna wanna wait to the end and check out that Customize Your Keynote Toolbar video to get yourself on the pro track. All right, in the back. All right, I think that looks all right. For what we're after, a simple icon. Shape, grab this one. 
I might even make this a little bit bigger because we're going for a cartoony thing here. So we can make it a little different proportionality. Now, put that here. You can even use these little arrows on the keyboard to make it go back. Put that in the back. Now simply, I'm just going to go like so. Good. Oop, too thin. There we go. Nice. Except, I think a style of an umbrella pole is more like a silver. Um, we can even do an advanced gradient fill. Let's take a look. It's a bit of a pro tip here. I'm going off reservation, but go for a gray here, go for a white here. And I can go over here, go to 90 degrees. Oops, sorry, 180 degrees. Just changing the, oops, 180 degrees. Now it goes sideways like that, and I can make it look darker or lighter as I please. In fact, I might even make this one a bit darker still, so it really stands out, it looks more like a metal. Okay, now, really simply, back to shape, back to draw with pen. I'm gonna make this super easy, tap. Should I get rid of this? Let's double tap and take a look. Yep, I think we should. This one too then. Double, not a double tap, but a two finger tap. Delete it. Boom, there it is. Let's make that black. Let us go to format, style, arrange, and constrain those proportions. Now, make it a little bigger. We have ourselves an umbrella. Wonderful. Empathy the word, we're gonna get rid of that. Okay, now I also remember, I'm gonna get a line here and it just pops a line in for me. I have to make this guy look like he's got two arms. So I'm just gonna put a line over here. Now we wanna have the same depth of line, the same width, that was four, right? I think that looks pretty good. And for the face, let's do just a plain old circle. And get red as well. Is that the same color red? Maybe not. So click on this guy here. So you get the color palette, get the eyedropper, let's make it exactly the same. There we go, it wasn't quite exactly the same. Again, in format, style, arrange, we can constrain the proportions to make sure it stays round. We're not going to completely rip off the other guy's idea. This one here, I'm actually going to go, I'm going to select it because now I can't see it behind the head. I'm going to flip it horizontal. If you don't have this customized over here in format, arrange, you can flip it that way as well. And shift tab, or pardon me, shift and the little arrows moves it a little more strongly. Okay, there we go. We got a face. It also needs to have format style it needs a border it has remembered it was four points so perfect there we go I want to show a little bit of the neck there's a bit of the neck now this is empathy we've chosen their colors except for that blue so now check this out I'm gonna go like so command option G now this acts as one thing all by itself command D duplicates it drag it over flip it now we're just gonna change the colors tap tap to get inside this single shapes that our vector graphic is making a man out of. Click on this, go to the eyedropper. Now we're gonna go to the blue. If it's blue, if it's that's blue, that means you can change the color. Eyedropper, go to blue. Now, get this out of our way, we see we get the same guy twice once he's blue. You like the hearts? I like the hearts. Shape. Boom, try to keep it symmetrical because symmetry is cute and we're kind of after cute a little bit here. Symmetry, symmetry, now let's make it round because round is also cute and we're making a heart so we need to round the edges. I can zoom it in, make a little bit of a pointy heart, I kind of like that, just a personal thing, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Move this over here. Okay, now, we're not gonna wanna have, let's go for color fill once again, Get the eyedropper, make it blue. We're not going to want to line on this because it's going inside. We are going to want to do format, style, arrange, and we're going to want to constrain those proportions because it is a heart. Command D duplicates it. Back into format, style, change the color. Eyedropper, we want it red this time. 
What do you think? Does this say empathy to you? By the way, these grids are amazing. These lines show you exactly how things are lining up. So there we go. It doesn't say empathy. That's up to you. I leave that completely up to you. How do we feel? Is it talking about empathy to you? I think it works. If not, you can change it however you like. I went back actually and thought this might be more like empathy. Another way we could go, we could make it more obvious by putting the word right in. Or we could go black and white with or without the words. Please, uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Definitely subscribe and I would love to see what you're making. The world is a remix. The world is a bang.